Hello, this is Hildron101010 from Computer Clan on ComputingClan.com. And Marvel Plus Gold videos, cheats, tutorials, whatever, they're very successful. And I've made some, and I get lots of questions. A lot of people ask the same question. There's a lot of redundancy out there because they all want to know how to do the same thing. Well, to start, I'm going to revise the cheat a little bit so it's a little easier to understand because in the other video, I even said the cheat, and some people still asked what it was, and there were still a lot more questions. So I'm going to revise it a little bit and see if people can get it a little bit easier. Plus, I'll show you how to do some other things. So, of course, you can do this in Marble Blast Gold, but I had Platinum installed, so I'm just using Platinum. Now, in Platinum, the level editor is basically built in. You just press a button. You don't need to know the key combination or the code or anything. So, we're going to play, but one of the things people ask me is sometimes they press the keys and it doesn't work. Well, each version can be a little bit different. In my experience, you either press the F10 button to open up the console, or you can press Fn F10 if it's a special keyboard, like a function F10, or you press the tilde key, which is beneath the escape key on most QWERTY keyboards, I'm assuming on all keyboards, and then it opens up the console right here, as you can see. So, when we have the console open, you can type in this cheat code which basically runs the level editor. So dollar sign to start the command, then you write the word test, T-E-S-T, -E then you write the word cheats, C-H-E-A-T-S, then an equal sign, and then we put a value in here of one semicolon to finish the command and press return or enter, whatever keyboard you're using. All right, and then it should be done. Okay, cool, so we have that done. Now what happens? Nothing looks different. Well, you're right, nothing is different except this. You press Fn F11, or on some keyboards, just regular old F11, then you get the level editor. And the keyboard shortcuts are different across, you know, different versions of this game. The Windows version is also a little different. I don't even know about the Linux version. It's probably the same as the Mac, but I'm assuming. But here are your controls. They show you all the key combinations. So, like, you can do something like toggle camera, and now you can control the camera like this. You can view the whole level. You can move yourself around the whole thing. And that's pretty cool. That's really handy for level editing, even if you just want to cheat on the level. And then you can, let's see here, drop player at camera. Then, then you're right where your camera was. So that's pretty nice. You can do all these cool things inside the level editor. Now, I also must mention, in the gold version of this game, it unlocks all of the levels. The platinum version, for some reason, does not work. It does not unlock all the levels automatically. I'm pretty sure there's another cheat to do that. But using this cheat code, you can beat all the levels easily by just hacking them up a little bit. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, there is another way to do that, to automatically open up all the levels. Or you can take the levels you want to play that are not qualified and move them into the custom directory. We'll talk about that in a minute, because that does work. At least when I've tried it. Hopefully it does for you. Things, things that are different seem to happen, and they cause lots of problems. But anyway, continuing... If you're writing the gold version, like I've showed before, it will automatically unlock all of the levels. So then you have options like save. You can save the level. You know, cut, copy, paste, undo, and redo. And there's the cameras like I was showing. And yeah, that's cool. And this is how you just change the, basically the editing options. If you go to here, which is the F4 option, window, F4, world, editor, creator, this is where you get all of your objects. See, like hazards and everything. And you can see all that stuff. There, we just added a hazard. We added a trap door. And this stuff you can edit a lot. I have a tutorial on this. It's older, but it still basically shows you all the things you can do. But, of course, you may want a more elaborate version or a newer revised version, whatever. And here's where you can change the sky. That's when you go to Window and you switch to the World Editor Inspector. You can change the colors and the scales of objects. The sun... A uh, script object. This one I get. I get this question a lot. Like how to change the name and stuff. Well, if you expand the the sim group right here by pressing this plus button, it's the first option right there. Mission info dash script object, and then down here you get all the controls for changing like the start time or the um, the time itself, the artist, the bonuses, the descriptions, all that stuff. You change it in the script object. So since I get this question a lot. I think I showed it in one of the videos, but the, the tutorials apparently were a little hard for some people to understand, so I'm quickly refining it here and revising it a little bit so you can see. So you edit it down there, and that's the one you want, mission info dash, dash script object. All right, so let's get out of this. You know, just press escape and get out. And um, 
I did have all these levels unlocked. I had these unlocked, but since I had to restart the game, I don't have them unlocked. But like I said, you can move the levels into the custom directory. So let's quit out of this for now, and I'll show you that. So if we go to... Now, th this is different on Mac and Windows, but I'm going to show you the Mac way. But it's the same basic thing on the Windows version, only you go to the folder where the executable is. And this one, we show the package contents by right-clicking, and it'll open it up. So the Windows one's a little bit different. This is basically what you see in the Windows version, only there's an executable file right here. But for us, the executable file is inside a contents Mac OS folder. This is the real executable for the game to run through the system. Okay, so we'll go back. And what you want to do is go into a folder called Marble. Then you want to go into a folder called Data. And there also is a custom marbles folder in the Platinum version. That's where you can add your custom marble skins. But you can also change that in Marble as Gold, but it's not a custom folder. I believe it's just a regular folder where you can switch one at a time. And as you can see, you have all your nice little folders here. This is where you can change skies, shapes, sounds, missions, interiors. And um, this would be missions right here. As you can see, custom. This is the custom directory. These are the custom mission files. And these are the pictures for them. When you want to put a level in here, all you do is copy and paste or move the .mis and the photo, the little JPEG for the icon, into this directory. And then they will be available when you go to the custom section of the game. That's how it works. Like Pipe Peril. Here is the level I designed. I took the picture. And I also have the .mis file in here somewhere. But the, the thing is, it works because I've tested it and it works. Now, the thing is, when you transfer .mis files from other computers running maybe a slightly different version, all of your interiors might not load on another version of the Marble Blast Platinum game, so it may not be playable. So you got to be careful. Like this level I made, here's the .mis file, and here's the photo. This does not run on my Mac because it does not have all the interiors, even though it's running the latest version of Platinum. I don't know how Phil's Empire really does that thing, but it runs on Windows when I tried it. If it doesn't, that's okay. The Pipe Peril one I know does, because this was developed in the default Marblast Gold environment, so it should have all the interiors. All right, so brief tour of the level editor, how to do the code again, and this is where you would add custom levels. As you can see, the directory down here is Marble, Data, Missions, Custom. It might be a little bit different for Gold, but I don't think it is on the Windows version. It's under, if you get it from like a real arcade client, it's either under My Games. If you download it regularly, it pro probably is in Program Files. And those are in the root directory. You go to My Computer, go to the C drive, basically, that's where they are. All right, so, hope you learned something. Have any more questions, which I'm, which I'm sure some people might, because they de definitely always have questions about these. Just let me know, leave a comment, and I'll try to answer, and maybe revise the information a little bit more. So, thank you, and see you later. Thank you.